This video is going to be about synthetic division of polynomials. So we did a video of uh, long division of polynomials, synthetic division of polynomials. You can only use synthetic division when a polynomial function is divided by an expression of the form x minus c. c is a constant. So the co that means the coefficient on x is 1, the exponent on x is 1. It's just x plus or minus a number, OK? So um, the only time I can use synthetic division of polynomials is if I'm dividing by something of this form. Otherwise, I have to do long division. So here, let me do an example. Um, I have 5. Let me do this other one first. Hold on. I have, okay, perfect. x to the fourth plus 5x to the third plus 5x squared plus 5x minus 6. I want to take this polynomial function and I want to divide it by x minus 3. Okay, so um, first things first. Same thing that I said with long division of polynomials. You want to make sure that you're not missing a term. So this has to be in standard form and not missing a term, which it already is for me, thank you. Fourth degree, third degree, second degree, first degree, and the constant term. So it's already in standard form and it's already um, representing all of its terms. So I don't have to do anything there. Then I want to look at this. I'm dividing by this expression. Can I use synthetic division? Does it have this form, x minus c? Yes, it does, x minus a number. In this case, the c, the number that I'm subtracting from x is 3. So c in this case is 3. Okay, so this is in the proper form that I can use synthetic division. Now synthetic division is basically the same as long division, but what happens is you are kind of skipping some steps. You're ignoring the variables for a second and dealing with the numbers, and then you pull the variables back in. So let's just focus on coefficients. The coefficients of each of these terms when the um, expression is in standard form. So taking the coefficients of this, the coefficient here is 1, coefficient here is 5, coefficient here is 5, coefficient here is 5, and then my constant term is negative 6. Each of the coefficients and the constant term, always in standard form, always representing all terms. Otherwise, you will get the wrong answer if you do not represent all the terms. Everybody draws their little box for synthetic division differently. This is how I represent it. It's all basically the same idea anyway. Your c goes in this little box here. My c in this case is 3. So coefficients of my numerator, in other words, and then my c goes in this little box. And it's always the opposite of what this is here when it's in fact, you know, like expression form. First step, bring the first number down below this line. Anything below this line gets multiplied by this. So 1 times 3 is 3. That goes on to the next uh, number. Anything vertical gets added. So 5 plus 3 is 8. 8, again, anything under this line gets multiplied by this. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 under the next number, anything vertical gets added. 24 plus 5 is 29. Again, anything under the line gets multiplied by 3. 29 times 3 is 87 underneath the next number. Anything here gets added vertically. 5 plus 87 is 92. goes under here. Anything under this line gets multiplied by the 3. 92 times 3, 276. Anything here gets added. 276 plus negative 6 is 270. And I keep going until I get all the way to the end. Now that I'm all the way to the end, this number is called my remainder. This is my remainder. <clears throat> now, how do I put it back in the form um, that we did when we did long division? I have to get these variables back in. Well, when I take a fourth degree polynomial and I divide it by a first degree polynomial, I should get a third degree polynomial. So my first term should be one degree less than the first term in my original numerator. So this is a fourth degree, this should be a third degree. And then again, 
my exponents should descend until I get to the constant term. So third, second, first, and then constant term. These guys are going to go back into the coefficients. So 1, x to the third, positive 8, x squared, um, plus, next one, 29, x, and then my constant, plus 92. My remainder, plus 270 over what I was divided by, x minus 3. And this is my answer. Okay, <clears throat> one more example um, using synthetic division. Um, I have 5x to the third plus 6x plus 8 divided by x plus 2. Again, I want to ask the question, can I use synthetic division? Because if I cannot, I have to go back into long division. Well, I'm dividing by an expression of the form x minus c. In this case, x minus negative 2. My c is negative 2. c is always the opposite of what this is in this, in this form. Um, so take the opposite of this number. So I can use synthetic division. Now, if you notice, the numerator is in standard form. However, it is missing some terms. So I need to put placeholders. I'm missing my second degree term. I have my first degree term. And I have my constant term. So representing every term, putting this as my placeholder, now I'm ready for synthetic division. 5 is my first coefficient. 0 is my second coefficient. 6 and 8. If you did not have that 0 there, and then again here goes my c, negative 2. If I did not have the 0 here, your division would be incorrect. You have to make sure that you're representing every single term when your function or when your expression is in standard form. Bring the 5 down. Anything down here gets multiplied by this. 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. Add vertically. Negative 10. Multiply. 20. Add. 26. Multiply. 26 times 2. 52. Negative 52. And then anytime I'm, I'm going vertical again, add, right? So negative 44. Keep going until I can't go anymore. My last term here is my remainder. Now how do I represent my solution? I have to put it back in polynomial form. I started with a third degree. This one should start with a second degree, one degree less. Second degree and then represent all terms in standard form, a constant. 5 is the coefficient of my first term. Negative 10 is the coefficient of my second term. 26 is my constant term. 44, or negative 44 is my remainder over x plus 2. Okay, synthetic division. Again, the remainder is not 0, which means that x plus 2 is not a factor of that numerator, 5x to the third plus 6x plus 8.